Ah, the South. Such an important part of America's culture. If you don't live in the South, you're missing out on a lot, pal. It's an interesting region, which I regularly poke fun of on this channel. The South can be defined roughly as this part, the Deep South down here, and these states which are in the South, but not in the South, if you catch my drift. But for the sake of clarification, for this video, I'll be using these 10 states during this analysis. The goal today is to find out which Southern states are bad and which ones are not so bad. There are many ways that you can define bad versus good, so we're going to take into consideration common Southern stereotypes, as well as agreed upon metrics which people say they want and don't want when deciding on a place to live. Along the way, we'll probably learn a lot about the Southern part of our country, and you may grow a deeper appreciation for the American South. It's a region that's lovable in many ways. You just have to know where to look. So get out your camo and your Bibles as we rank these Southern states from worst to best. You take the red, you take the neck, you take them both, and there you get the southern states. The southern states. There's a time you gotta go and show the world what you know about the southern states. The southern states. Alright, I think we're ready to start. So how do we rank southern states in an obscure, interesting, and fun way? By looking at things that most people would say define the southern experience. You know, things like weather, culture, and politics. So we'll do our best to find the data to rank them and keep a running tally on this sheet. Let's begin with something that's typically defined as a Southern commonality, politics. Which states are the most conservative? To put it another way, the best Southern states will be the most conservative. The more red your state is, the more Southern you are, right? Well, that's pretty easy to find. There's maps all over the internet that show pretty clearly the redness that is the South. Here's one. You can see here that Kentucky is the most conservative of all Southern states, where 53% of residents vote red. Obviously, way out in the sticks, that number is closer to 100%, but metro areas like Louisville are pretty liberal. Anyways, Mississippi, Arkansas, and Tennessee are also very conservative, but Florida and Texas are less conservative than their Southern neighbors, which, according to our rankings, would make them less Southern. So we can update our chart here with our first metric, measuring politics. The states at the top are the worst Southern states because they're the least red. Florida and Texas are losing right now. Kentucky being the most conservative is the best Southern state because they are the most conservative. See how that works? What about alligators? For this metric, the more alligators your state has, the worse you are. Because alligators and crocodiles are mean, and they eat small dogs at an alarming rate. Or people. Sometimes. Every now and then. Rarely. Well, it's not so easy to actually count alligators. I mean, would you want to be the guy or girl who has to do a head count in a swamp every year? And we can't ask alligators to fill out a census. I mean, they just bite your hand if you try to hand it to them, I bet. But we can measure the number of alligator attacks in each state. That's pretty easy. Turns out that Florida, no surprise, has by far the most alligator attacks and number of estimated gators in the US. You can see here that there have been 22 people killed in the state of Florida from alligator attacks since somebody decided to start counting them. Although I'm sure a long time ago, tons of Native Americans were also killed by them, but we weren't counting back then. At least we weren't. There have been almost 500 actual alligator attacks in Florida and 16,000 nuisance complaints. When that happens, I'm pretty sure they just send somebody out to try to catch the gator and then they take it to a swamp nearby where it will probably become a nuisance there. Cause you know what they say, any body of water that's more than knee deep in Florida probably has a gator in it. Florida also has an estimated 1.2 million alligators within its borders, which is more than the entire human population of like eight of our states. So Florida wins or loses this one again, Having the most alligators makes them the worst southern state in this metric. As you can see, it's not even close. Texas has only had a handful of attacks, and Georgia has had a couple of deaths. Kentucky, our leader from the last round, hasn't had any confirmed alligator attacks. Yay, Kentucky! Here's our updated chart. Florida and Texas continue to lead as the worst southern states, and Kentucky continues to remain the best southern state. Now what about church attendance? As you may know, the southern part of the country is by far the most religious region. 
So then, according to our ranking methodology, we'd probably agree that the most prototypical true southern states would probably have high church attendance, right? And those who don't go to church as much aren't really as southern. This interesting map shows the states who claim that religion is very important, or at least somewhat important in their lives. As you can see down here in the south, they sure do thump their Bibles a lot on Sundays. Alabama and Louisiana lead the nation in terms of religious fervor, and it's a virtual tie when it comes to a few others down here. You can also see that way up here in the Northeast, folks don't believe in God as much, and that's their God-given right to do that, I guess. And once again, Florida ranks at the bottom of our list, where only 78% of people feel religion is a part of their lives. That's not very Southern of them, is it? Is Florida gonna run away with this whole thing or what? Tornadoes sure are scary, as are hurricanes. In case you haven't been paying attention, the global weather pattern has shifted a little bit. Instead of tornadoes crushing the Midwest in an area called Tornado Alley, they're now kind of happening more often in the South, in an area called Dixie Alley. And hurricanes are happening more and more too. And they also hit the South more often. So it makes sense that the states where there's more tornadoes and hurricanes would be considered worse, right? Well, for hurricanes, that's easy. Check out this impact map. Florida again leads this metric with 117 named storms that have impacted the state since records began in the 1850s. Texas and Louisiana rank second and third, respectively. And clearly, three states in our competition have had no hurricane impacts because they aren't on the coast. When it comes to tornadoes, Texas tops the list, probably because it's the biggest state. In fact, Texas leads the whole nation with tornadoes per year, probably because it's the biggest state, I guess. Florida, our next highest Southern tornado state, sees only about a third as many tornadoes as Texas does, but you can see Alabama and Mississippi are up there as well. South Carolina hardly sees any tornadoes. Nevada gets about two tornadoes a year, probably way out in the desert where nobody really sees them. Vermont leads the nation with tornado nose. Florida's led just about every single worst category so far, and right now they're the front runners to win as the worst Southern state. Our updated standings show Florida is still the worst Southern state by far, followed by Texas and Georgia, and Kentucky is still the best state in the South by far. Good for you, Kentucky. Crime and poverty are two ways to determine the likability of a state. The South is a very dangerous and poor area, statistically, probably the highest levels of both in America. This crime map shows which states have the highest number of property and violent crimes in America. Hey look, Florida is almost the best when it comes to crime rates per capita. Kentucky is the safest state in the South, followed by Mississippi and then Georgia. In terms of dangerous states, Louisiana, Arkansas, South Carolina, and Tennessee are where criminals go to die. Poverty-wise, it ain't pretty down here either. Look at this map. It's practically a southern sweep. Outside of New Mexico, all the poorest states are in the south. In Mississippi, the poverty level is 20% for the entire state. Alabama and Louisiana are close at 18%. Average annual incomes for households in these poorest states average about $48,000 per household for the whole state. Our least poor southern state is Texas, where household incomes average close to $60,000 a year. That's pretty good, and far from the poverty levels of the Deep South. Here are our updated standings after crime and poverty. Now we're going to measure a couple more categories, one of which is going to be what I'll call our redneck metric, because the South isn't the South if you don't have your redneck categories, right? You know, stuff like NASCAR tracks, trailer parks, and places to get guns. As far as NASCAR tracks go, we can count those. Everybody gets a point if they have a NASCAR track and minus a point if they don't. Three states, Arkansas, Louisiana, and Mississippi, don't have a NASCAR track. And those folks should call Charlotte right now and demand one. Trailer park-wise, it's a mobile home park haven down here. Half of the nation's mobile home parks are in the South. And believe it or not, the census actually keeps tabs on the number of mobile homes per capita. Ka-ching! Now this isn't ranked from top to bottom, so I had to make a new map so you can make sense of the matter. South Carolina has the most mobile and trailer parks per capita, and by quite a bit, meaning they are the most Southern. Texas and Tennessee have the lowest number of trailer parks per capita, which makes them less Southern. And finally, guns. Now you might think the South would crush it in gun owners per capita. While Texas has by far the most registered gun owners, overall as a state, it's not that high. Wyoming has the most gun owners per capita, now for our southern states, Alabama has the most gun owners per capita, followed by Louisiana and South Carolina. 
The southern states with the least number of gun owners per capita are Mississippi and Tennessee. That's not very southern of you guys. So our redneck metrics are done. Here are the most redneck states based on our redneck categories. If your state is high on this list, you're a better southern state. Alabama is our most redneck state, followed by South Carolina and Florida. Tennessee is our least redneck state, which will move Tennessee up on our worst list. Because if you ain't redneck, then you ain't a true southern state. What's funny is that I bet a lot of people in Tennessee right now are pissed. They're like, I demand a recount. We got to be more redneck than anybody else. Texas got a low redneck score, so they are now the worst southern state. And since Arkansas scored so well on the redneck metrics, they move into the best southern state spot. Florida is known for a lot of things. We have the great weather of the sunshine, oranges, but of course, Florida man. Those bizarre stories you hear about all the time that seem to only happen here in Florida. And finally, can we measure true southern states by the type of news coming out? Maybe. We ran a query on Reddit under odd and weird news to see which states had the most hits. And it was Florida by a mile. Like Florida man who thought he was in Alice in Wonderland? This guy thought he was going to get out of trouble by claiming he was in a fairy tale. And Florida woman named Crystal Metheny got arrested. And Florida man who was bitten by a shark, punched by monkeys, bitten by a rattlesnake, and struck by lightning. Alabama's headlines were dominated by stories of weird animals running around like pythons and goats and a rogue squirrel. The squirrel ran all around church and scared everybody until it got trapped by a collection plate. Aww. Tennessee had this story about a terrible person. Okay, they can move up a notch on the worst list. Jerk. And how about the guy in Arkansas who shot himself in the face trying to shoot an armadillo? What the what the? Okay, that clinches it. Arkansas is the best southern state. That is just so southern. Okay, so there we go. Our worst state in the south is Florida. While getting third on the redneck metric, overall, Florida is just not really very truly southern. Neither is Texas, really, at least anymore. And maybe now there's people in Arkansas who can finally make a claim as to be in the best in the south. He freaking ha. You know what? Maybe I'll call somebody in Arkansas and tell them the good news. Hey there, ma'am. Uh, I am doing a YouTube video on the best and worst southern states, and Arkansas is the best state in the south. How do you feel about that? She sounds thrilled. Well, anyway, somebody needs to send somebody in Arkansas a keg of beer, because they deserve it. They finally won something. Okay, that's it. The southern states ranked from worst to best. Hopefully you learned something. I did. And hopefully you have a newfound appreciation for what it's like to live in the South. While this part of the country takes some knocks for being backwards in many areas, it's a great place to be, generally. Kinda. I mean, this is real America, right? You take the red, you take the neck, you take them both, and there you get the Southern States. The Southern States. There's a time you gotta go and show the world what you know about the Southern States. The Southern States. Where the Walmart supreme And you feel not up to your dreams Then suddenly you're finding out The southern states are growing on you You It says a lot about your pride When you live in a double wide Hey guys, if you learned something new or you just like this video, make sure to like it. And if you really like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get all of our videos about what it's like to live in different places in America. Peace.